Okay, good morning folks. Today we are going to cover um, a bit more of a complicated subject. Um, we get this question a lot around, hey, we deployed our DNS server at the network level, but how do we um, prevent the user on the network from uh, switching their DNS to another provider, whether that's Cloudflare, OpenDNS, etc. Um, and while that kind of control goes beyond what we do in clean browsing, it's probably helpful for us to spend a little bit of time to explain uh, what you could do as a network administrator. So, um, on the left hand side here, I am remoted into a Windows machine on a network that I manage, that's not where I'm at. And then on the right hand side, it's the Unit 5 management console for a Dream Pro machine. Uh, this could be your router, etc. Uh, for me, this is what I'm using, but what you want to look at is some similarities within your router. And I'll try to do this with other routers to kind of give you some better context. So, um, first thing we're going to do is verify where we're at. So, you can see on this network, um, I am going to uh, clean browsing. So, that's what you want. So, that's what I did with the NS leak test. It just kind of showed me this is where the edge is. And then, now what we're going to do is we're going to log into our router here on the right hand side. Um, and we're going to navigate to security and we're going to go to traffic and firewall rules. And we're essentially going to create two rules. One rule is going to say, hey, I want you to allow only the clean browsing DNS servers. The other rule is going to block all other DNS servers that you don't want to allow on your network. So for that, um, we're going to create an entry uh, and we're going to say, I'll do it on the advanced, but you can do this in simple mode as well. In fact, I'll show you simple real quick. So here we'll say, allow clean browsing custom. Um, and then we'll hit allow, and then we're just going to say the IP address. So for here, it's going to give you 185.228.168.148. And then DNS travels uh, traditionally over port 53, so we'll use that. And then here, um, we'll do the same thing. We'll put our secondary, and then we'll do port 53 as well. If you're curious kind of where I got that, um, you can kind of go here uh, into my dashboard. Uh, in my dashboard under uh, your network. Um, if I switched over to my groundstone property, you'll see uh, 148 here, okay? So that's what I'm doing here. And all I'm saying is, is hey, any DNS traffic, any, any traffic that goes to port 443 that is, uh, its destination is 148, go ahead and allow that, perfect. Oh, sorry, I got to select the network. So I'm gonna say I do this to the whole network. Perfect, thank you. Go ahead and apply that rule. Okay, so if we look under our simple settings, you'll see that the new rule has been created. All right, now what we want to do is create a rule that applies to any other DNS servers that are not the clean browsing ones. So for that, I'm going to go to advanced just because I can create what's called a group. So here under advanced, where it says create port and IP group, if I click on that, um, I could say uh, all DNS servers, and I've already created this, so I'm not going to save it, but just to give you an idea. Uh, and I'm going to say I want to do IP group for IP, IP address or subnet. And I'm just going to say I want to block 111. Okay. In that instance, it'll add it. Uh, and then I just kind of keep going. So I can go 888. Um, I can say 10.0.3, etc. And then it'll create this group. I've already done this, uh, so I'm not going to recreate it. But it, you kind of get the gist of it. Okay. So let's go ahead and cancel that. Now, if I were to go in and create a new entry, and I'm going to say, I want all traffic that's going out, so internet out, and I'm going to say block uh, unapproved DNS servers. Here, I'm going to go ahead and drop the requests. Uh, don't worry about the source, that's saying anything within your network. So yeah, I want any port IP group from any address and any port, okay? Then here on the destination, I'm going to say, um, I want any of my DNS service providers, which is the rule that I created, or, or that group that I created, and anything that's going to the uh, all DNS port. And so the all DNS port is what I created called all DNS, and it simply just says anything going to port 53, okay? So now I'll go ahead and apply this rule, and you'll see here, um, if I look at all my internet out, I now have this new rule that says block unapproved DNS servers. And if you look at the destinations, you can see all the DNS servers. You can see Cloudflare, um, Google, uh, Quad9, NextDNS, OpenDNS, etc. And you can kind of keep adding to this list. So now that we have that, let's kind of go back to our 
other system here on the left-hand side. Let's make sure things are still working. And hopefully we are. So yep, we're still going to clean. Okay, so now that that's set, you can see the simple rule uh, going to these two destinations. You can see the advanced the servers that it's blocking. Um, so if we were to, if a, say I'm a user of this machine to the left, and I wanted to make a change to my network. Um, let's go to view network connections. So here I am. Uh, right now it's dynamically pulling from the router, right? So it obtains the DNS server address automatically. Let's go ahead and change that. Let's say I'm a kid and I'm changing this. So let's go ahead and go to Cloudflare now and say, haha, I'm going to beat the system. Uh, we'll close that. If the user does that, and let's just try a new screen to move in caching. If it all works, it should fail. Boom, that's exactly what we want. It's not reachable. Now we were to go back in and reset it to the network. Obtain address automatically, hit OK. If we close this incognito and open up a new one to clear any caching. There it is. It's working perfectly. So that's it. That's one easy way to do it. It's essentially using the firewall options inside your router gateway kind of device to block our external requests to port 53 that are going to known DNS service providers, or you could just block the port in some instances, and then allowing the specific uh, IP address, the, uh, the, the destination IP that you actually want to allow. So uh, hopefully that helps, and like I said, you may not have a ubiquity system, but most routers have some kind of firewall control, so what you need to be thinking about is, where in there can I block outbound requests, and then via that, um, which one specifically do you want to block? Okay. Thanks. Talk to you later.